Hi, this is Mr. Barr, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the distance between points and use the Pythagorean theorem. So here's our first one. Now, this one, the points are just vertical, so I'll just count the distance. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six units. Horizontal, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. Vertical, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen units. Okay, so now I finally get to one where they're on a diagonal from each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually, imagine if I turn this, ah, let's just do this. Let's turn this into a triangle. This is your method. Turn it into a triangle. And then we know this is one, two, three, four, five, six units. This is six. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm just going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So I have six squared. Whoa. Oh, okay. It's I understand. Six squared. Um, I have to undo this. So it's six squared plus 8 squared, so this is 36 plus 64, that's 100, squared of 100 is 10. So the distance between those points is 10 units. All right, let's keep going here. And I'll show you another way in a moment also. Right, so this ah, this one I could draw a triangle again. I'll do the next one with a triangle also, and then I'll show you another method. So let's draw a triangle. So it's a right triangle, and then I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm using 12 and nine. All right, 12 and nine. 12 squared plus nine squared, so 144 plus 81. Takes me to 225, squared to 225 is 15. So the distance between the points is 15 units. All right, so that's absolutely a method that'll work. But here's another one without drawing the triangle. Think about those two points in a table. Think about it as x and y. So I have 3, 6, and I have negative 9, negative 10. Think about how that changed from 3 to negative 9. How did it change? Well, that's a, a change of 12 units. It's actually negative 12 units, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to end up squaring that number. And from 6 to negative 10 is a change of negative 16 units. Once again, the negative is not going to matter because I'm going to end up squaring this. So this is actually, that 12 is this distance right here. That 12 is that distance right there. And I could count it. Let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And the 16 is this vertical distance right there. I could count that, and it would be 16. But notice, I didn't have to do the triangle. I can just make this kind of table and find the changes. So this is going to be 12 squared plus 16 squared. So I'm looking at 144 plus 256. That's going to be 400. Square root of 400 is 20. So the distance between these two points is 20 units. I'm going to check that out. 144 plus 256, 400. Yes, 20 units. 
So I'm going to start using that method instead of drawing out the triangle. So I'm looking at 10, negative 4, 5, and negative 10. This was a change of 5, negative 5, and this was a change of 6. So I'm looking at 25 plus 36. 25 plus 36 is 61. Square root of 61 is 7.8. Notice it says round to the nearest tenth, so I'm going with 7.8. Excellent. Here's the next one. Three, negative seven, negative nine, and ten. That's a change of twelve. That's a change of seventeen. So twelve squared is one forty four. Seventeen squared is two eighty nine. Adding them together takes me to four thirty three. Going to take the square root of four thirty three. Takes me to twenty point eight with the rounding. Good work. Here's another one. Six and nine, one and four. Six to one is a change of five. Nine to four is a change of five. So I'm looking at 25 plus 25. So the square root of 50, which is 7.1 with the rounding, nearest tenth. Nine, ten, two, two. That's a change of seven. That's a change of eight. So I'm looking at forty nine plus sixty four. So one hundred and thirteen. Square root of one hundred and thirteen is ten point six three. So ten point six with the rounding. Good work. Next one. 2 comma 7, 9 comma 1, that's a change of 7, that's a change of 6. So I'm looking at 49 plus 36. 49 plus 36 is 85. Square root of 85 is 9.219, so with the rounding it's just 9.2. Well done. Okay. This one looks a little bit more challenging. Negative 4 to negative 5, negative 10 to 9. No, it's not. Change of 6, change of 14. So this is 36 plus 144. So it's 180. Square root of 180 is 13.41. So 13.4 with the correct rounding. Whoa, 15.2. Whoa. Come on, bar. Fourteen. Six. Oh, I see what I did. Do you see what I did? It's right there. I said 14 squared is 144. You were probably yelling at the computer right then, weren't you? Mr. Bar, no, don't do it. Oh, my goodness. How, how's my smart score? Okay, I'm doing all right. 11 minutes. All right, hey, that's it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.